Hello friends, welcome you all. Today I am going to start a series of tutorial about bulk RNA seq data analysis. And now you can see on my screen the pipeline of bulk RNA seq data analysis. And you can see there are many packages required for the bulk RNA seq data analysis like FastQC. FastQC is a tool for quality control of high throughput sequencing data, providing a detailed report on various quality metrics such as sequence quality, GC content, and sequence duplication level. And the MultiQC is a tool that aggregates results from bioinformatics analysis across the multiple sample or tools, generating a single easy to read report for quality control and data exploration. So we will use this MultiQC to see all the FastQC results in a single data file. And the SortMe RNA. SortMe RNA is a tool for filtering, mapping and clustering ribosomal RNA sequences in metatranscriptomic and other rna seq data, adding in the removal of rRNA contaminant for downstream analysis. And the Trimomatic. It is a tool for trimming and filtering Illumina sequencing data removing low quality bases and adapter sequences to improve the quality of the data for the downstream analysis. High set and star. These are the tool for the fast and sensitive alignment tool for mapping RNA-seq read to the reference genome, facilitating the study of gene expression and transcriptome analysis. Feature count and the HTSeq. These are the tool for counting reads in features of a genome such as genes or exons to prepare data for downstream analysis like differential gene expression from rna -seq experiment. DSeq and HR. These are the popular R packages for differential gene expression analysis from rna -seq data and the functional analysis using the GSEA and also the SRA tool. This tool is a command line program for downloading, searching and interacting with data stored in the NCBI sequence read archive, a database of high throughput sequencing data. And in this part, I will show you that how you can download and install all the required packages for the analysis. And first, I am going to discuss about the Conda environment. Here I want to discuss about the Conda, Miniconda and Anaconda. So Conda is an open source package and environment management system. It quickly install, run, update packages and associated dependencies and it can create, save, load project specific software environments on your computer. Conda along with the, some base packages known as Miniconda and this is very popular. So we will use this Miniconda for the analysis of bulk rna data analysis and miniconda along with the high quality packages is known as anaconda so these are the similar term you don't need to confuse about the conda miniconda and anaconda now i am going to show you how you can install the miniconda in your linux system as well as windows and mac so to install the miniconda you can search the miniconda and the google and open the anaconda documentation here is all the detail about the miniconda and to install the miniconda you can download the software from here for the windows mac and the linux so i already downloaded the linux from here and here is the quick command line to install the miniconda for the linux mac and windows and these are the commands you can follow in your system and you can download the miniconda and install the miniconda in your linux system but for the mac you can also download the software and you can install very easily so i already installed in my system so i'm not going to install again but i will provide the command line to install the miniconda in your linux system so that you can install the miniconda easily and now i'm going to open the terminal sudo su for the root user And to know about the miniconda in your system, you can type conda info command and you can see here conda version 24.1.2 is installed in my system and I will provide the all the command related to the miniconda and also about the package installation so that you can use these command for your system. So to activate the conda in your system, you can use the command conda activate. Here you can see the root is changed. Now it is showing the base. So this is the environment of mini conda. And if you type conda env list, this will show you all the environment that I already created 
space is by default but RNSSEC I created earlier so you can see there is two environment in my system and to switch the environment in the mini conda you can type the command conda activate and the name of a specific environment that you have in your mini conda environment list so I'm going to put RNSSEC here you can see base is change RNSE. So now we are in the RNSE environment that I have created. So I'm going to clear the base control L. So first I'm going to show you how you can create the Conda environment so that you can install the required packages or any specific data analysis in your system. So for this you can create the environment by using the command Conda create name and the name of your environment i am going to create rna sig demo environment press enter it is asking for the environment location if you are agree with the default default location you can enter y and now we can check the environment list using the command conda env list now you can see there are three environment base RNSSEC and RNSSEC demo that we just created and to activate this environment we can use the command conda activate RNSSEC demo now you can see RNSSEC demo is active in this way you can create environment for your data analysis in mini conda so the next is to search the package that is installed in your particular environment for this here you can see the command conda list this command will show you all the packages installed in the current environment so we can use the conda list the center here you can see name version and build channel and it is not showing any packages installed in the current environment and the other very important thing that i want to show you that the channel channel are the repository from where miniconda install the packages in your system and to know about the channel present in your environment here is the command conda config show channel can type conda config You can see there are three channels that is present in my environment maybe in your case only default is present so you have to add the channel so that you can search and install the package in your system like i already added by conda and conda forge so that i can search the package and install in my system so to add the channel here is the command conda config add channel so by using this command you can add the channel in your environment so you have to add the channel so that you can install the packages otherwise you will not be able to install any packages in your environment so this is very important and now i'm going to show you how you can search the packages in the mini conda so first i'm going to show you how you can install the fast qc multi qc in the mini conda environment and first i'm going to search the package conda search past QC Honda search is command to search the packages and here you can see past QC version and the build and the channel past QC is present at the Biconda repository so we can install the past QC in the environment so so to install the packages here is the command Honda install Past QC equal to version name so I am going to install the 0.12.1 press enter here you can see I put the 0.10.1 in place of 0.12.1 but I am going to proceed with this version because I am just showing the how you can install the packages and 
along with the fast qc these are the dependencies that will be installed along with the fast qc and dependency are the packages that are required to run the fast qc so you have to install the dependency as well to run the fast qc so i'm going to put the y For the multi QC, I am going to search the package multi QC and you can use the arrow up and down to get the previous command in your system. You can see I am going to search multi QC. And I am going to install the multi QC version 1.21. I am using the up arrow to get the previous command conda install multi qc equal to 1.21 this package required dependencies that are listed here i'm going to proceed using the command y so fast qc and multi qc is installed in our current environment and to check the packages installed in the current environment, we can use the conda list command and you can see fast QC and uh, multi QC is present in our current environment along with the dependencies. And now I am going to show you sort the RNA trimomatic how you can install these packages for this in the search sort me RNA I'm going to install the latest version Equal to version 4.3.6. Why? Or to proceed again, to the search trigonometric. And I'm going to install the latest one. Install high set feature count D6 in the environment. So I'm going to search. Search I said to so you can use the command along with the star if you don't know the exact name like star I said to star so I'm going to install the high set to version 2.2.1 Next, I'm going to install the feature count. So, feature count is known as subree. So, I'm going to search under search subreads. I'm putting the star and the star in the last. So, it is not showing. Maybe it is not subread, it is subread only. So, I'm going to search again under search star. So P star. Now we can see here subread is present. So I'm going to install the subread version 2.0.6.
to know about any packages installed in your system you can use the command package name like feature count feature counts you can see feature count version 2.0.6 is installed in our system in this way you can check any packages installed in your current environment like this i'm going to install the hr first i'm going to search hr so there are many packages of hr so i'm going to install the bioconductor hr version 4.0.2 while to proceed with dependencies and now i'm going to show you how you can install the sra tool it is very important to download the rnacic data from the ncbi database for this i'm going to search sra tools i'm not getting the package using the sra tools option so i'm going to use on the sra start so you can reduce the number of character in your package name so that you can get the list of your package very easily so here you can see using the sra tools i was not able to get the package name in the that i have added in my miniconda environment maybe sra is the correct name you can check this exactly you can see here name is sra and the dash and then tools so i'm going to use this SRA tools 3.1.0 so nearly we have installed all the required packages in our system so that we can analyze our data but you can install any packages if you require in your system for the analysis and i will provide all the command required for the installation updating packages and the removing the packages from the miniconda environment so i will provide all the command in my description so that you can use this according to your requirement and the other very important thing that you can export the and you can export all the installed packages in the .yml file format and you can use this file to create the environment exactly the same that you have created right now for this here is the command conda env export environment name and .yml and to create the environment you can see here the command conda env create press here and environment .yml environment .yml will be your environment name and the .yml is the extension of file so in this way you can create environment using the file that you have exported or you received from any your colleague or friend so now i'm going to stop first part of the bulk RNAseq data analysis tutorial in the next part i will start the analysis thank you for watching my video and if you like the video please subscribe my channel thank you